episode of University Life with Audrina and as you guys can see she is in a very sad mood but she's trying to play catch up on her sorority's task of making paintings for a charity event that we're going to be trying to do this weekend hopefully Friday or Saturday I'm not sure yet but they're doing a charity event for the sorority and part of the charity event is requiring them making some paintings and if you guys know last episode she kind of ditched the sorority they're kind of disappointed in her right now because they were like you know how important this was but anyway um, she ended up ditching the sorority for that and then uh, then she ended up having to go out and meet her family for I guess like a little bowling night that kind of went crazy so if you guys are watching parenthood you already know what's going on which I mean her face right now is just kind of like it's, it's heartbreaking but apparently what happened was they went bowling um Dante pretty much pulled her to the side and was like sis we need to talk I know it's been a while since we've seen each other and in the process of them doing all of that she finds out that her brother um was expecting a baby by another woman and it hurts her because all she could think about is her little nephew and the whole situation when she was a kid when she was growing up and she's just like if you weren't ready to marry Jacqueline why did you do it and he was just like you know I felt like that's what everybody wanted me to do so that's what I did but she knew that she couldn't hold it from her mom she knew her mom would be so devastated if she knew that uh that that Audrina knew and she didn't even know so she did call her mom up when her mom was still the bowling alley and let her mom know Dante is expecting a baby by another woman. And of course, Ashley lost it. So turmoil is definitely going on in the Douglas Dash Stark family right now. And it's affecting Audrina, even though she's not home. She's back at school, but it's definitely affecting her to the point where she's just kind of like she really needs to evaluate her relationships. I know you guys were very disappointed in her with her situation with Zane last episode. And I agree. I think right now she's um, let me see. Did he have the baby? I wonder if he had the baby. Let's see if he had the baby real quick, because now I'm curious. Uh, we're just good friends. Let's see. Where would it say? I guess under family, maybe it'll say. So he has, yeah, he has, wait, oh, he has, oh, he has two sons. Wait, it just says son, family, son, daughter, two sims, daughter. So he has triplets. Okay, because one of you guys were saying that, that they had triplets. And I was like, what? They had triplets? What in the world was I thinking? Um, yeah, so they have three children. Uh, it just says three. I guess I'd have to look at Desiree to see um, all the details behind it or whatever. But yeah, essentially that is what happened. Let's go ahead and put that in our inventory. I don't think we're going to sell that very well. So let's try to do a surrealism painting. We'll do a large surrealism painting of worth of a hundred simoleons. And she's going to have to go to school here in a minute, but, um, that's pretty much what's going on. It's her thing is like, if she's not 100% satisfied, then she doesn't want to uh, compromise her relationship with anybody nor with, uh, you know, or make that other person that's in a relationship with her unhappy. So y'all, because of this revelation she's found with her brother, she's seriously contemplating breaking up with, um, with Kabir. And I know you guys are probably going to be so upset, but she's kind of like, you know, she really needs to figure out she's unhappy. She's disappointed with herself. Let's put it that way. She's disappointed in herself that she even met up with Zane, that she let it get as far as it did, even though they didn't do anything, they didn't kiss or anything, but they did flirt and they exchanged a couple little glances left and right. And she's just disappointed with the way she acted, knowing that she's in a relationship, an exclusive one with Kabir. And Kabir just doesn't give her those butterflies. I'll be honest with y'all. So because of what happened with her brother, she doesn't want the same thing to happen with her or even with the thing that happened with her mom. So for that reason, she has made the decision that she's going to break up with Kabir. But first, we got to go to school. So let's join her. All right, guys, here we are at the Fine Arts Building. And she's just going to make her way in and start her schoolwork for the day. Like I said, I don't know how long she's going to be in this sad mood, but she's like really devastated by everything. She didn't realize that it would hit her that hard. I don't even think Dante even realizes how hard it hit her, but it definitely hit her super hard. And she's just trying to... Um, you know, cope with everything for today. And then, of course, she has to come over here and work on some woodworking stuff. And Desiree is sitting right here. And I don't know if we should just be honest with Desiree or just let it go. But nothing really happened. So I think we're just going to let it go at this point. So I'm going to let her work on this. Uh, what are we working on? I forgot. We're working on just that quick. I should have had her do something different other than a knife block, like some furniture or something like that but in the meanwhile let's go see what else we need to do we're going to need to paint for 30 minutes and right now oh look how cute this painting is 
<laughs> this is cute. <laughs> I noticed ever since we got cats and dogs that they're painting different stuff now. So um, let's do a pop art painting. I actually like pop art painting. So we'll do that when she's finished doing the sculpting. But y'all, she's going to be moving in slow motion today because her brain oh she's inspired right now but her brain is just kind of like you know but it does make her feel better to kind of delve into her work and into art and kind of like gives her like an outlet even though she's still feeling a little bit um i guess like a train wreck <laughs> like a train completely hit her and the sad thing is, is her mom actually really liked kabir afterwards her mom was just like kabir is so lovely he's such a handsome young man he has a good head on his shoulder he looks like he's going to be successful when he grows up but you know ashley's just like it's just not there so she hasn't told her mom that her plans are to break up with her with him but i mean you guys know i'm gonna be honest with you it's it's mainly because of what happened with dante that she's just like i'm not going to compromise my heart for anybody and i'm not going to compromise anybody else's heart you know so she's gonna do what she has to do and maybe hopefully all these um whims for her like you know flirting with jessica or you know talking with other guys you know whoever she comes across that actually makes her heart flutter like that hopefully it'll be the right guy and then we don't have to um we don't have to wonder you know because i just felt like whenever she was with kabir she didn't have those whims for him she didn't have those like you know I want to flirt with him. I want to woohoo with him. She didn't have that, you know, so it's just kind of like it makes you wonder if she really was digging him like that. And I really don't think she was. But anyway, we need to finish this up. Hopefully she'll finish it soon. She's scratching her head. <laughs> okay, did we do? Okay, good. We did. Okay, I'm like, sure. Like, did we do a good job or not? Oh, goodness, Desiree, you took our, you took our painting. We were going to do that one. I guess let's come over here. We can critique. We can view that one. And then we could put it away. As a matter of fact, who did this? Dion did this. Okay. Dion does such a good job with his paintings, y'all. He does a really good job. And then I'm going to go on. I'm going to go on and put it in our... Oh, I guess we could sell it to collector. Let's just do that because I was going to drag it off, but it won't let me do it. And then we'll try to paint um, as soon as she has the opportunity to do so. But that is a really nice painting that Dion did. That is really nice. It's like an oil painting almost like, but... Okay. Are you finished looking at it, girlfriend, so we can move on with life? Okay, good. All right. So... <laughs> I want to do a pop art painting. That's like one of my favorite things that they do. Uh, this is a nice one too. What is this one? Abstract. Man, they are all leveling up really good. I guess she had the baby too. I see she's not pregnant anymore. I think this was the one that you guys said in the comment box was uh, was um, going into labor during the recording. <laughs> I thought that was so funny because I was like, how in the world did I miss this? So this is the pop art painting that you're doing, seriously? The only thing I hate is that they're like scrapping the art. I'm like, don't scrap it. Just like, let me see if I can grab this and put this on the... I hate for them to scrap it. Like, give it here. Because some of these are really nice. And if you scrap them, I just feel like it's just a waste. Just a waste of a painting. Like, don't scrap it. Okay, what's going on? Can't get into my build box. Okay, there we go. All right, good. So I can just put it over here. So what I'll do is the ones that are done, I'm just going to stick them up on the wall somewhere. Because honestly, it, it seems realistic that we'd have paint from the students all over the walls and stuff. And I see it looks like Josh is here over here. Who else has finished a painting? And that way we don't have to scrap. Oh, okay, that's nice. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm peeping y'all. I'm peeping y'all. Y'all doing good work y'all doing some good work so i think after this um we'll probably just invite kabir out to coffee or something like right here on campus there's like a little coffee shop uh, i think it's right here i think it's this one right i think it is i think yeah the cafe so when she's finished uh school work and everything we'll just ask him to meet us over there i think he's in the music building which is like right here i think we could go over there, but, you know, right now she's in class, so we're not going to worry about it. What in the world? We got some angry people down here. What is going on? What what, what do y'all have? What, what's what's y'all problem? What What is all these people? Oh, she's not angry. <laughs> Angel, why aren't you in class, Angel? Angel's skipping class, y'all. She didn't join the dog on sorority, the party girl sorority, and she just didn't got all wild out. Okay, now I can't get back to where I was at. Okay, are you finished? Are she done? Oh, she's still working. Okay. So let's work on that right now. That's so funny. She's working on a painting where it's like kids playing and stuff. And she's probably like, this is what she wants in her life eventually. And it's kind of sad because she, she needs to find that love of her life, y'all. And she just not, has not found it yet. And the sad thing is we're like, how many weeks do we have? I think we have like the rest of this week and then one more week and then she's going to graduate. So, you know, while love isn't on the menu per se, we don't need to like make it priority. 
Um, you know, it would be nice if she found like a special someone while she was at school. Because majority of the people that I know, including me, <laughs> we found our special someone while we were in college. But it's not like you know absolute necessary you know but anyway hopefully she finishes this before school before school is over with but look like she got someone shopping someone playing with a pinwheel someone um what is this with glasses okay okay so let's go put that in our inventory we can sell this during the um oh i should have viewed it first all right uh let's go see if we can view somebody else's artwork that's done or you know what speaking of oh whoa she she did like a, a, a what you call it <laughs> This is like a tombstone with a plum bob on it. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Um, should we go and tell Desiree what happened or should we just let it go? I mean, there's already like friction between that sorority and... See how they're just scrapping it? I'm like, don't do it. Don't scrap it. Like, I actually like this one, but we can't put it in our inventory. So I'd have to put it up on the wall somewhere. But I actually like that one. Like, I feel like they're making really good art and then we're just sitting there scrapping them. That's not... That's no bueno. No bueno. Let's put this one right there, I guess. And then, oh, she like teleported to me real quick. She was like, what you doing with my painting? Is that, that's not even yours, girlfriend. That's not even your painting. But um, I guess let's talk with Desiree real quick. I'm just going to tell her, you know, I'm just going to talk about cooking. Um, I know this is like so awkward because she's just like, oh, I heard you had the baby. Let's congratulate her on the baby. Oh, let's describe a new idea. I'm not going to flirt covertly. Um, but I want to congratulate her on the baby. Look, she's still thinking about the fact that she's a trophy girl. Get out of here with that. Anyways, I'll just, I'll, I don't know how to congratulate. I wish that there was a way we could just congratulate, but, um, I guess other Sims, I'm going to ask her how she feels about it. Would that be bad if I did that? Like, how are you and Zane doing? I heard you guys got married and you know, all that good stuff. And then y'all had a baby. Congratulations on the baby. Let's see what she thinks about him. Oh, she's like, that's my husband. He's my ball and chain. We're married. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I guess. Uh, let's do a knock knock joke. <laughs> that's your ball and chain. I feel like maybe she feels like they just jumped into marriage because she was having a baby. And then it's like, you know, I'll discuss some favorite recipes with, oh, she walked away. Okay. I guess she's just like, I'm not feeling this conversation. I feel like she doesn't, she doesn't really like Audrey and y'all. I felt that a long time ago, but even look at this one. Even this one's nice. Let's go look at that one. I really want to take this one. I think I'm gonna put it up on the wall too. I like that one. It's like a cat playing with balloons and a dog search, uh, playing with a bone or, or running after a bone. I have no idea. But Anna Marie, you did good on that one, girl. This one is cute. I like this one a lot. I wish we could just put it in our inventory. We could sell it. But these people aren't part of our sorority. So technically, we can't do that. But, you know, it's all good. So um, let's go talk with Jessica real quick, even though we're about to go. Uh, let's go do a make a funny face to her or whatever. Are we still over here talking with uh, Desiree? Desiree does not like us, y'all. I know she doesn't. And maybe she knows. I don't know. But anyway, let's go head to the coffee shop with Kabir. All right, guys, here we are at the University Cafe and Arcade Center. It's just right on campus. As you guys know, it's like literally buildings down from her fine arts building. But anyway, they're going to go in here and sit down. She's feeling like all sorts of butterflies or whatever in her stomach, even though she's feeling super inspired. She's still kind of super sad. They have to have this conversation. But anyway, I'm going to have her um, discuss interest and just ask him how his day is going and everything and all that good stuff. And then ask her, ask him, um, I don't know, ask him about how his day is going. And then we're just going to go on and try to, I'm not going to drag it out. I'm just going to go in and have a deep conversation and just ask him, you know, you know, just like things, they're just moving a little bit fast for her. And she's still kind of uncertain about how she feels about things and things of that nature. And then, you know, she's talking about, you know, I just moved and, you know, everything is just kind of, I'm just still trying to get to know myself, you know, being in college and trying to figure out what I want to do with my life and all that good stuff. So I feel like he's kind of, uh, into the conversation a bit or whatever but you know i'm just gonna go on and just go in and just ask him just to be friends like maybe we could just be friends and just dial it back a little bit see what he says um i don't know how he's gonna respond y'all okay so far he seems like he's okay okay so he's just like kabir have decided to cool off their romantic relationship okay he actually is okay he's not sad she's not sad like there's oh but he is leaving okay i guess he's like okay well, that was weird. Um, all right. So is he technically still her boyfriend? They're still talking and everything, but is he technically like her boyfriend still or no? Um, let's see. Okay. They're just good friends. Okay. So they totally just cooled off their relationship. 
and he seems to be just fine wow that went over a lot better than i thought it was going to be i've done that acts to be friends thing before and it doesn't go over well all the time like <laughs> sometimes people get really upset about it but um they're still sitting there talking and everything and she's like you know maybe you could focus on your music you know maybe after everything's all said and done we can kind of just you know they can always reconnect i'm not saying that we need to just get rid of the idea of kabir altogether i'm just saying that for right now she's just she's gonna pump the brakes a little bit just so she can kind of reevaluate exactly what it is that she wants out of life and so you know they they are still really good friends as you guys can see um let's gossip about neighbors they still have a very high green level they just deciding to just cool things off a little bit with their relationship and he's even still he's okay i am so surprised he is actually okay maybe he was feeling the same way i promise you guys i have done that ask to be friends before and people would be like devastated crying and stomping off and leaving and all sorts of stuff and he seems like he is just a okay so um i'm gonna drink this because that lady just totally just left it so it's mine now <laughs> it's mine now and then while we're sitting here she's like so inspired by everything um i don't know oh there's there's miss uh what you call it quinn that's uh kaylee kayla kaylee's i forget her her name that quick uh her sorority sister's um sister sorority sister's sister that's nice and confusing all right so we can't get this is that what you, oh okay he's all like broing me right now okay can i drink this or no because i feel like that's for somebody they're gonna tell me no i can't drink it but I was totally going to still look he's still like wanting to talk to her and everything y'all he hasn't even left yet he's just he's good I am so impressed right now okay let's get in here and take a picture he is good this was like the smoothest breakup I was more nervous than she probably was like I was super nervous dude you were in my shot you were in my shot dude you were so in my shot but it's all good uh anyway so i think for the rest of the episode y'all though um i don't know how long we're gonna hang out with him we'll hang out with him until oh okay i was about to say we'll hang out with him until he leaves but i think he's leaving now i think maybe he's good so i'm gonna let her finish her cannoli and everything we're going to go on and head back to the sorority house we need to work on homework so we're going to reevaluate who is this guy hi edward okay i was gonna say hi to you but you jumped up I gotta get a picture of this because I love this outfit and I love the confidence that's oozing from her right now. She's totally good with her decision. Like, it's not even like, I don't know. I guess they'll feel like they'll still be good friends and everything will be fine. And, you know, I just like the fact that she's sitting there sipping her coffee like, you know, I'm good. Um, did she leave? Did he leave for real, y'all? I think he did. Let me go over here and say hi to Quinn. Let me do a cheerful introduction. Just kind of say hi to her because, like I said, she is... Um, sisters with uh, with our sorority sister so and then this is the new girl i think sawyer i think that's the one of the new girls so i come over here and say hi to her too she looks familiar uh let's do a cheerful introduction to her too and are you leaving okay are you leaving sawyer and then i guess while we're here let's just come over here and just go play a couple video games for a little bit let's go play uh you know what? let's enter a novice tournament why not let's play sims forever she plays video games all the time so i feel like that oh kabir's still here okay i thought he had left I thought you had I thought you had disappeared. I thought you was out of here. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anybody here uh that we could say hi to. I feel like majority of these sims I created. Like this girl right here, I feel like I created her. <laughs> I do, I feel like I created her. That's so funny when you see Sims, you're like, you look familiar. Anyway, we're just talking with some of the other college students that's in our school. Let's discuss work. Apparently she's part of our major. And then with Quinn, we don't never see Quinn around. Let's describe a new idea. Then we got Ali Chafik here. Let's discuss some interest to say, apparently we already know him, which is weird because I don't remember ever meeting him. But um, we're just gonna touch base a little bit, but we do need to get home because we need to work on our paintings. I think I would like theoretically for them to have, well, she has quite a bit already, but I don't know if all of these are hers or not. Cause um, does it say Audrina, Audrina? I want to do some of the newer paintings some of the ones that are worth a lot more money though because they're doing this money for charity so i think we should probably try to focus on getting like this one's worth 373 and it's excellent quality so i think what we're going to try to do is get like five excellent paintings and then you know what now i think about it three paintings while inspired okay my things we need to work on those aspirations too to get that taken care of and she's getting tired too y'all so we're probably gonna go in and wrap this conversation and stuff up but kabir is good he's over here just bobbing his head i told y'all i felt like it just wasn't there was just something that was off about everything but she's enjoying her little conversations right now with everybody but i do need her to go in and wrap this up let me have her not even worry about playing uh the game she's just gonna use the bathroom and then we're gonna go on and head home
Okay, y'all, this is crazy. I'm like getting her to head home, right? She's like on her way heading home. And Zane texts her and says, hey, I need to get out of the house. Want to join me for Rock and Roll's diner? I'm going to go on and go because I'm going to have her put him in his place like Zane. You have got to leave me alone. That's the only reason why I'm going to go. So let's just go on and go and just go on and rip the bandaid off this relationship. Because apparently no matter what she says and what she does to him, we've been mean to him. We've tried to cool things off with him. He just won't. He won't bite. He won't. He won't accept it. So let's just go on and go and, and put him in his place. All right, guys, here we are at Rock and Roll Dinner. We're not going to even make our way on the inside. Um, I know she she actually is. Well, she could eat, but we're not going to even make our way on the inside. I'm going to go on and just go on and set him straight right now. I'm just going to tell him, you know, I know we do have a They have a connection. You guys cannot deny that they don't have a connection. But she has got to just like, is there not a thing to say ask to just to be friends? Like, I mean, come on now. Seriously? Um... There's got to be a way to ask just to be friends. Apparently, there's not. Um, look, is there anything romance we could do that's opposite mean? I'm gonna have her argue with him really quickly. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick. Oh, that doesn't even work out for me, y'all. Um, ooh, should I have him break up with her? <laughs> like you know what oh my gosh i'm gonna have her insult him and just be like look zane you know you have got to let this go like we cannot keep meeting up with each other you just had babies and you're married and you know it's just it's not it's not gonna happen he's like look i just text you to see if we could just come out and just enjoy a meal you don't understand how much stress i'm at so i'm gonna have her just yell at him i don't care about how much stress you're under like it's it's not it's not cool i don't want to be just you know you can't play ping pong with me you just can't go back and forth with me and all this other stuff the only way that anything can go on between us is if you're no longer married and you're no longer sitting there trying to play me like that. So I'm going to have her continue yelling at him right now. And he's just like, <laughs> let me just insult him a little bit. And I'm just going to, oh, what else? What else am I going to do? I'm just going to be like, you need to worry about your wife and stuff at home. He's like, look, I was just coming out here to try to show you a good time. Like, you know, I'm trying to be friends with you. I don't want to argue with you, but I'm just going to brush him off. And she's going to be like, look, I'm done. You need to leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Oh, whoa, she's laughing in his face. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm done, y'all. Oh, I should have got a picture of that. Hold on. I got to do it again because that was funny. I need to do that again. Um, what is that one? What is that one called? What is that one called? Is it brush off? Let me try brush off again. <laughs> y'all, he is angry, but we got to do this. Okay, boom. There we go. I got to get a picture. He's just like, what? Like, are you really sitting there? You're going to, I mean, y'all, Zane is cute. Don't get me wrong, but she's, she's got to put her foot down at this point. It's, it's, it's over. So we're just going to go on and end this little interaction or whatever. Oh, he's like super angry, but you know what? I will do one thing. Oh, y'all, he's heartbroken. He's just like, you have no clue. You know, you just have no clue right now. I'm going to try to calm him down and be like, look, you know, there's no love loss. We could still be good. Ooh whoa y'all he is angry he's just like you have no idea the type of pressure and stuff i'm under i'm gonna try to calm him down because i don't want him to be upset oh y'all oh he just straight walked away he walked away oh my gosh y'all he walked away he walked away and you know what our girl is feeling pretty confident in herself right now she's good so i guess let's go home wow let's finally make it home Okay, y'all, we have finally made it back home. Oh, my goodness, I cannot believe the type of day my girl has had. But let's go on and go in her pocket. We're going to go on in. I think we're going to go on and do some homework first. Let me get this out the way because they love making coffee around here. <laughs> we're going to go over here and do our homework. And I'm actually going to go on and start a gathering so that way we can get um, some points. Let's start a gathering. Did I start it? Did I start it? Start a gathering. There we go. All right, so we're going to start a gathering and see if we can get some points and stuff taken care of she's gonna go and get her homework done y'all so it's just gonna be it's gonna be all dream of fun minute we gonna let her just do her thing and just figure out exactly what she's doing in life and all that good stuff in the meanwhile let's see i need um oh goodness bront who's texting bront right now i got the scoop that's some crazy part okay you know what we're gonna cancel it because we need to get some stuff done okay so bront needs to um do her homework too so i'm gonna have her doing her homework she's actually okay right now and she is sleeping so i'm thinking i'm gonna let her sleep well i guess i'm gonna wake her up by mistake by default but what do you need to do because you don't even have your homework oh she needs to get a level three of the violin skill do we not have a violin around here somewhere we have a violin somewhere who has the violin in their pocket i feel like some some one of these girls has the violin in their pocket uh yep 
it's right here right yep violin so let's put it oh okay let's put it somewhere apparently it could go with the green and then have her go practice her violin and then so they're just going to all do some homework and stuff um she needs to do her homework and girlfriend you oh my goodness you need to do a whole bunch of stuff besides homework so i'm gonna have her go use the bathroom go take a shower go do some social stuff and then um uh oh i thought i just saw her she had her homework in her pocket Did I, was i confused um i guess i'll have her come over here and come practice a little bit as long as they're doing something worthwhile with their homework i feel like that that's good enough so i'm gonna have her come do her homework and everybody's getting it together and that's what we're gonna do y'all she's just gonna focus on school and stuff right now because like i said i really want to give her a promotion let me see what she's looking like right now she's actually in the good should i go on and give her a promotion i don't know when she's finished with this homework we'll see how tomorrow goes i feel like she needs to be like in this level in order to get a promotion and uh like a very good because in real life y'all we would be at that check mark for her to get a promotion and oh my gosh ivy is not doing good at all where's her homework at like i feel like they've like lost their homework in various places i don't know where the homework and stuff is um i forgot to see did i start my timer that will suck if i did it <laughs> i did it okay okay I, I paused it but i didn't restart it um okay so let's see here because i have like so much stuff going on in my background y'all my um daughter is having a play date over with one of her good friends and you know they was like let's play let's play with our um our, our christmas presents anyway so she came so i had to pause the episode when i was recording earlier to uh let her let her in and say hi and speak to the mom and all that good stuff so who else is missing their homework i feel like i think she's missing hers okay so this is probably hers homework okay so I'll put that in her pocket and then have her do her homework. All right, cool. So everybody's getting their homework and stuff done. And then when we're done with that, we're going to try my hardest to power through. We need to call mom and just give mom the news about, oh, you know what? We probably need to cook too. So I'm actually going to have her do the serving of the dinner. Serve dinner. Let's do um, let's do a taco casserole. I don't know why I like taco casserole so much. Like Every time I see that, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to make taco casserole. I feel like it imitates real life because in real life, I would totally eat taco casserole and I would be good. <laughs> i'd be so good what's wrong ivy why is she so sad because she needs someone to talk to she's like i need someone to talk to uh let me have her chat with her and then call her and chat with her she has friends and then let's call dion and chat with him i guess we'll just queue up to chat with some people uh, in the meanwhile we're sitting right here with bront so let's so hey i brought a little bit let's do a heartfelt compliment discuss some fitness techniques um I guess, uh, uh, what else can we do here? Oh, ask for hand massage. Ask her about her day. <laughs> what do I have to do all that? But I'm going to try to power through as much as we can. We need to get her homework done, y'all. Because, I mean, the last couple episodes with your girl has been all about these guys and all about this drama and all sorts of other stuff other than her doing her homework. So we need to make sure she get it together. Like, I'm not playing no more. <laughs> I'm not playing anymore and she's getting hungry. So I might have to just cancel this out right now and then just power through their last little bit. Did we finish? Hopefully we finished. We got 75% done. You know what? That might actually end up being okay enough. So I'm gonna let her go on and cook. And then when she's finished cooking, um, let me just go on and put this in her pocket. We'll finish it up in the morning, I guess. As long as, long as we got a good majority of it done, I'm okay with it. I really wanted her to get some painting done. But like I said, these, these dudes like out here are just... <laughs> messing up my girl's flow her sorority sisters are gonna be so mad at her because they're gonna be like girl you didn't get no paintings done and especially you know what now i think about it it should really just be the ones that um that are art people right so it'll be like her it'll be like bront um bront what are you doing she needs she needs to get some sleep too all right so good hey aspen is done yay aspen all right so what do you need to do aspen uh, she needs to do some fitness skill stuff. So I'm actually going to have her power through um, a workout really quickly and then possibly come work out over here. Get that taken care of. She is in a flirty mood. So how about I'll have her send her a man a text message. I could invite him to hang out at the current lot. We could do that because she's in a flirty mood. But I'm going to have her do that after she finishes all of that. And poor girl over here. She is over here just in a horrible mood right now. Ivy, um, let me see. What, Ivy, what, what do you need to do? You know what? I'm going to have her stop and just have her have a couple conversations with people. Because she's okay with the piano skill right now. Um, what? I'm sleeping. Call me later. Seriously? Okay. So we can't even. All right. So I guess what we need to do is maybe talk with Aspen while Aspen is working out. Get to know Aspen a bit. Uh, so everybody sleep right now. <laughs> 
uh, discuss the latest video games, let's ask for advice, let's uh, enthuse about guitar solos, share some ideas, discuss the latest video games. All right, cool. So we have her queued up and then she could practice that. And in the meanwhile, are we finished? Did she finish cooking? Did she finish cooking, y'all? Did she? Oh, gosh. Did she? Is she done? Did she finish cooking? What did she do? Did she put it up, y'all? How much you would have bet she probably? Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, it's burnt. It's poor quality. Her sisters are going to be so upset with her. She's super sleepy, so I'm just going to go ahead and let her get some sleep. But she needed to eat something. Uh, I think I'm going to power through just a little bit, get her like a little bit of sleep. And then we're going to go down here and grab something to eat. And I'm actually going to call Tamil and eat. And let's just go and grab everybody so they can grab something to eat. They're going to talk about her, though, but <laughs> it is what it is. Then I'm going to have her go to sleep afterwards. They're going to talk about you, girlfriend. They're going to be like, oh, you made this old poor taco casserole. Ain't your mama like a restaurant owner? Did she own a restaurant? You should know all about cooking. She really should. She should. She like lived and ate and breathed and everything cooking. And it's like, OK, is this what you bring into us? Is this what you bring into us? But anyway, I'm going to wrap this episode up. You guys can give me your comments down below of how you feel everything happened. Hopefully, you guys won't be too upset with me. I just made an executive decision just to break her and computer up because I just wasn't feeling it. Like in the beginning, I was like, oh, yeah, I could see him and her together. But the more they interacted with each other, I was just like, it's not there. And then that whole revelation with her brother, y'all, it shook her to her core, as you guys can assume. And you know how that whole dine out situation went with her dad. And she was so devastated about her parents getting a divorce. It hit her the hardest, even harder than Dante. And, um, you know, that's, it's just, that's just what it is. So it's like she had to be real with herself and just say, you know what? I do not want to be in the same situation where I'm forcing something like you're forcing something round into a square hole. It just wasn't going to work. So hopefully she'll find somebody with some passion and with some love. And like I said, somebody that could just knock her off her feet and just have her just be like, I am so in love with this guy. And yeah, Kabir is just not the one. And definitely not Zane. Okay. All right. So we're just going to put a pin in Zane. Zane is done. I don't even know if he'll ever call her again after she gave him. Oh my gosh. After she gave him that chewing out, I don't know that he'll ever call her again, y'all. Oh my gosh. It's like so awkward between them right now. It's ridiculous. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comment box down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.